Hello, it's Tim Perfect with Two Canoe Software, and I wanted to show you some of the new features of MDS 1.9 that we're working on. Um, you can see this is MDS 1.9 I have installed here, build 19073. Um, first thing I want to show you is the new preferences. So I split up the preferences into um, different tabs, um, so it's a lot easier to uh, separate them out, and it looks uh, looks a lot better. Um, so that's one of the minor features. Um, the next one is. One I'm very excited about is that when you go into resources and you're specifying uh, packages and apps, um, you have the ability to choose what uh, order they're install installed in. So I have three apps I'm installing, three packages, certificate request, MDS, and WinClone package. Um, and there's a third option now when first user logs in. So the first one is run running workflow. So you're booted from the external drive or from the recovery partition, and it can install the package then. We use that for installing WinClone, for example, which creates another partition, um, that kind of thing. So it, it actually happens before macOS is installed. Now the second option is after macOS installation, which means that um, the um, macOS installer actually installs it after it's done installing macOS. So we just added this new option as when first user logs in. And this is available for any package. So in this one, the certificate request and MDS are going to do when uh, the user first logged in, and it's going to install WinClone um, after macOS installation. The reason you would use when first user logs in is if you have a package that requires a user to be logged in um, when it installs, because it's not really a great performing package, um, or it has some kind of requirement that requires login. It's usually the former. Um, but the, uh, uh, the way that it works is that when you install, um, when you run this workflow, what it does is it, it takes the packages that you're going to be installing, uh, which would be certificate request and MDS, and actually and, and, uh, copies them into uh, var uh, com.2canoes.mds folder inside a folder called packages. And it also installs a launch agent and a launch daemon. Um, and what happens is um, the launch daemon watches for a file. Um, it's running as root and watches for a file inside that same var uh, com.2canoes.mds. And then a launch agent is installed, so when the first user logs in, it touches a file in that var folder, and that kicks off the installer from the launch daemon. And that, in turn, installs all the packages, and it also deletes all of the uh, packages after installed, as well as the launch agent and the launch daemon. So it basically cleans up after itself. So when the first user logs in, it'll install those packages, so it'll be installed when there's a user session going on, which means a lot of these packages that don't work, um, unless there's a user logged in, and a user on the system, and a home directory, should work fine with that now. Um, we do have uh, the options, the other options are still available, still available run, running, running workflow and after macOS installation. So um, that's the, uh, well, the, probably the biggest new feature in 1.9. Uh, it's available to download it right now if you go to the Bitbucket site um, or in the pin items in Slack, you can go ahead and down them, got, download them. Um, so again, this is Timothy Perfect from Two Canoes. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, um, check back for more videos and thanks for watching.